Hey guys and welcome to my invention parts guide. In this guide I'm going to be covering the components and parts you need for augmented divine charges and some other stuff. And I'll be showing you with a daily shop run how to get them easily and cheap. First off the scavenger perk. This perk is the most useful perk for combat if you're trying to get invention components. Why you may ask? Well the scavenging perk gives you 1% chance up to 3% depending on the rank of getting two uncommon components upon a kill. This is obviously great at spots like the Abyss, Ferrari, Abyssal Demons or Sami Coldrush Dungeon Encampment or Sarah Encampment. And uh, to the left you can see how you can make it. Uh, there's a few ways, some give you a better chance of obtaining two and three than the other, but this perk is great. And even uh, with the uncommon components, you sometimes have a chance of getting a rare one as well. And that happens, well, you know, if you're AFKing the Abyss, uh, you know, it happens here and there. And if you're just AFKing hours and hours, you'll get uh, quite some three rare components. So this is great if you're trying to get some components while you're AFKing. So first off, base parts. Any weapon with a hilt will give you base parts. Daggers, swords, two H's, spears, halberds, whatever, it doesn't matter. They will give you base parts and some other components. Now... In the shop run you'll see me showing you a shop which has an enormous stock of swords, weapons, mazes and that kind of stuff. And that's how you get them cheap. Uh, if that's not enough for you in a day, um, you can buy them from the Grand Exchange. Now Mithril and Adamant will do best for your investment of money. Simple parts. Uh, you just disassemble logs basically. And I'd recommend maple logs because they're cheap. Uh, they still are, even though they've risen in price since invention. But yeah, they're cheap, so use them. If you don't want to use them, you can use willow logs, even normal logs, but you won't get that many parts. Uh, and if you're willing to spend the money, expensive logs like magic logs or L logs will give you a higher percent chance of simple parts. Now, swift and dexterous components you get from claws, maces, short bows, and crossbows. Now for flexible and tensile parts, you get them from shield bows unstrung. Uh, they're the best and cheapest way of getting them. And I'd recommend using maple, willow or U ones because they're very cheap on the Grand Exchange. Enhancing components, you get them from rings, amulets, slayer rings and some cheap potions like energy potions. Even though they have risen in price a bit, they're still a good option. And jewelry, anyway, so... Rings of Slayer are a bit harder to come by because you have to make them yourself and you need to buy the ability from the shop But if you do have that ability, then you can just Make some for yourself and the good thing about Slayer Rings is that you actually also get some powerful components as well from them So that's uh, a good thing and for powerful components I'd recommend summoning pouches like Spirit Terror Bird, Pack Yak and that kind of stuff and Every time you're at your Slayer Master doing your task you can buy 10 insulated boots and these have a good chance of giving you some powerful components as well. But the stock is only 10. So after every Slayer task, if you do this, this is a way of getting your powerful components slowly but surely. And for the last three components that are kind of relevant or useful, uh, the precious components, you get them from jewelry or gems. Now I recommend buying uncut gems and then cutting them, getting crafting speed and then disassembling them just for that extra efficiency level. But that's just how I do it, so you don't have to follow my footsteps, um, but yeah. Protective components, you get them from armor and shields. There are enough shops to uh, get these cheap. Uh, if that isn't enough, you can still buy them from the Grand Exchange. If you do, I'd recommend Mithril, Adamant, or Steel. Evasive components, you get these from ranged armor or hybrid armor. Some shops do sell some dragon hide, uh, which you'll see in the video really soon and you can get evasive components from those. As for shops, you can't get any better than the Warriors Guild shop because it has weapons and armor. As you see in the video, there's a massive supply of stabbing weapons, crushing weapons, and slashing weapons. And this is just a great shop to get your invention exp uh, components easily. So let's move on. As for another shop or shop for base parts with weapons, you can use the one in Varrock, very close to the lodestone. As for shields or protective components, the Falador shield shop is very close to the lodestone as well. And as you can see in the video, I go there for my protective parts. There's also a chain body shop 
in Falador, as you see in the video, for some extra protective components. As for flexible, dexterous and tensile components, there's a shield bow and ranger armor shop. Uh, you can even get some invasive components from the dragonhide armor that they are selling. And on the other side, there's another armor shop to get you some more protective components. Now that is the end of my invention parts guide video. I actually have a 1 to 99 invention guide on my YouTube channel. It does have a lot of dislikes because I only cover how to train 1 to 99 as fast as possible and I don't uh, cover any machines or stuff like that and I think that's the reason that why it has a lot of dislikes. But I always strive to have the shortest videos possible and as you see this video is just over 4 minutes and is also pretty short but I hope you guys have all the information you need and I think you should have uh, and that's what I do so if you want more guides subscribe catch you guys later peace